Hello and welcome to the Together Network. I am Joe and today I'm going to show you how to make a Wix website very quick and very easily. Now before we get on with the rest of the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with what we're doing here at the Together Network. We're doing daily webinars at the moment and most of them are going to be put onto this YouTube page. And between the webinars, we're also going to be putting videos like this up to keep you informed and help you through this time. So without further ado, let's get into Wix. So the first thing you're going to want to do is load up your browser like this and then you want to go to bit dot ly slash together wix this is a link that does help support us so if you could use that that'd be very much appreciated and it takes you to the exact page you need to be so all you do when you get to this page is click start now now it's going to ask you to sign up to wix usually it's asking me to log in because i've already logged in on this account before but usually for you it will look like this so when you're on this sign up page, what you want to do is just put in your email address um, because I've already got an account. I'm going to put plus one there and then I'm just going to put that in there and then you create a password like so. Oh, I forgot where I got to. So once you've logged in for the first time, it's going to say this little bit of a spill here and then you click let's do it. Um, now here you want to click myself. You have an option here to click what type of website you're making. I'm just going to click a business, but if you wanted to make an online store, for example, you could click that. A restaurant, you could click that, but I'm just going to do a basic website for today. So we're just going to go a business. Uh, and it asks you for your experience. It doesn't really matter what you put here. Um, I'm just going to put build a few websites. Now it's going to give you the option to let Wix create your website through their ADI. Um, I would not suggest that. I haven't had great success with that so far. I would go over here to choose a template. Now it's going to present you with lots and lots and lots of templates. On the left here, there are categories. So you could go to whichever area you're in. So let's say you as a photographer, you can click photography and it gives you all the templates for photography websites. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the success coach one, this top one here, just to use it as an example. Before you choose your template, you can click view and see it in action like I'm doing now. Uh, and you can scroll through, have a little look at the website. You can click through all the pages and then up here, you can also click to see the mobile view. If you don't want this website, you just close that and go back to choosing your one. We're going to go ahead and edit the site. So we're going to choose that as our website. It will present this little uh, help. You don't need that if you're watching this video because I'm going to talk you through everything you need. But there are other resources on YouTube and on other websites where you can find more Wix help if you need individual things that I'm not going through today because I'm just going to show you how to put up a very quick website. Now this is the Wix editor. The first thing that you're going to need to get used to is probably this undo button. So if you do make a mistake, this is the button that you will click to rectify it. And then to the right of it, there's this save button. I would get in the habit of clicking this save button whenever you make changes. It does auto save, but you never know when your computer might crash or when your browser might crash. So just get in the habit of continually clicking that. Preview here as well. If you click that, it shows you the website, how it looks now. And then you can go back to the editor. Over on the left here, you can also switch it to mobile view. How Wix works. Oh, I'm just going to skip this. How Wix works is you're going to want to make most of your changes through the desktop. And then at the end, you'll want to go in and make sure the mobile site's all okay. Up here is where you see all of your pages. These are your site pages. Because this website in particular has a members area, there's all the members pages here, and booking and the blog pages, but yours might just have the site pages if you don't want anything like a blog. So on your website at the moment, there will be text elements. So there'll be elements like this. There will be buttons. There'll be 
images, there'll be, there'll be all kinds of things. Um, all of them are added through this add button here. So you'll see there are tons of stuff that you can get lost in uh, by adding here. But it's quite self-explanatory. If you want to add text, you can come here and choose your text type. And you can either click and drag it in, or if you just click it, it just puts it anywhere. You can press the delete button to delete something if you do it by accident. And there, there are loads of different elements you can go through here if you want to add a button, a video, you can get, you get the gist of it. You can add pretty much whatever you want through that button there. You can also just click what's already there, move it around, text, you just double click it to change it and all of the normal stuff comes up. So if you want to make it bold, not bold, italic, etc, etc. Um, you can also change the colour just here. If we go through colours actually, so if I change this colour here to Let's say a deep purple and then add. Your colors are always going to show up down here. So you can make sure, so if I now wanted to go down here and change this text, you can double click it, go to colors and that exact same purple is gonna be there. Then this one up here. There might be other things on the site that you don't want. So for example, I'm not gonna have a members area. So I'm gonna get rid of this login bar up there. I'm not gonna be using this chat. So I'm just gonna click delete and get rid of that chat. Um, but yeah, just go through the homepage for now, decide what you want and don't want and just delete what you don't need and keep what you do want. Uh, the next thing to talk about is the header and the footer. So at the very top and the very bottom, there's going to be a header and footer that appears on every single page. Most of them will have a menu like this one here. Uh, and this is just text here, but you could have your logo here um, or you could put whatever you want in the, in the header. Maybe a little call to action. So like call me on and your phone number up here. Um, and then right down the bottom, there's the footer. Usually you'll put in some sort of form so people can contact you, your contact details, your social media links, and a copyright. If you've got any privacy policies, anything like that, put that all in here as well. Now that you've decided what you want in your footer and in your header, we're gonna go over to this button here, click it, and these are all of your pages. So this is the point where you need to decide what pages you want on your website. I'm not going to have a blog, so I'm going to click here on these three dots and delete. And that will get rid of that page. You'll see that go off of the menu up here as well. I want to uh, keep services. It looks like it's a booking system on this website, but I'd like to keep about and services. Now, if your website template that you've picked is the same as this and has an anchor, that means it's not actually its own page. And if I go to the preview here, if I click about, all it's actually doing is scrolling me down to the about me section on the home page. It's not its own page, whereas services is its own page. So it takes me to a completely new place. That's the difference between an anchor and a new page. So if you did just want to make a one page scrolling, you would just use anchors. And you see this here, this is the anchor. So this tells the website whereabouts to take you when you press the about button. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to, just for ease, I'm going to keep it the same as the template. So I'm just going to have an anchor on this first page. I'm going to have services. Just to show you how it works, this is how you add a new page. You can click here to add to the page. It will bring in the new page. You call it whatever you want. So for example, we're going to call it recruitment. If we want a page about recruitment. You can click and drag it to decide where it is positioned in the navigation menu. Interestingly, you see where it says more here, that means that this menu isn't large enough now. So you just drag it and when it's large enough, it will uh, show the missing pages. And then now you've got your new page, you can use the add button to add whatever it is that you want onto your page and build it basically. We're gonna go back to the home page where I'm just gonna teach you how to edit existing bits so as we said down here you just edit the text by double clicking it typing what you want making the changes here which is pretty self-explanatory some elements are slightly different in that if you want to change the design of this button for example you click the button and then there's this paintbrush here that you just click and then it gives you some examples of buttons 
that have already been made. Um, but if you just want to customize this button that's already there, you go to customize. Say I wanted to change the background color. We're going to go for that purple again. You just click there, click the purple, and now that button's purple. Bear in mind with buttons that there's also a hover color, which means if you hover over it, it changes to a different color so that the user knows that they're hovering over a button and they can click it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it as the purple again, but then I'm going to press this plus here, and then I'm going to move it light and then click add. So now if you look at the button, when it's regular, it's like that. When it when they're hovering, it changes to that, so you know they're hovering. There'll be a lot of different elements that have this design. I believe this whole, yeah, the horizontal menu here has the design as well. Um, so that's how you would change it if you need to change stuff like buttons. There's other stuff you can change in here, like the border, corner, shadow, change the text and the color, the font. Make sure to once again change it in the hover if needs be. Up here, up presets, so you can scroll through here and if there's one you like, like that one, I could leave it like that. I quite like that, let's leave it there. Now this background here, this is what's called a strip. So it's basically a container for everything inside. And then if users have a different size screen, it will shrink to the right screen or expand to the right screen. This is also a strip down here, um, and this is not a strip. So if it's a strip and you want to change the background, you simply just say change strip background. You'll now have an option to put in a color, an image or a video. Color is it just puts a solid color in, nice self-explanatory. Image, you can click on image, and then on the left-hand side here where it says media from Wix, there's a load of free stock images that you can use. So let's just say I am making a website. I'm a builder. I could put in builder, uh, there you go, this carpenter. Let's put him in there. So there you go, he's now in the background. It doesn't really fit this text anymore. But you get the point. You can, you can use your own images in there. You can upload them. I didn't show you how to do that actually. So upload media up here is the button you need if you want to upload or you can just use one of the free ones from Wix here. You can also use Unsplash and Shutterstock here as well. Some of these are paid for though, so just bear in mind they're not all free. Uh, video as well is the exact same. You can upload your own. There is also media on Wix. So let's go to Builder again. No, there's, there's not as many, if I just go to Build. There's not as many videos as there are images, but there's still quite a few. So let's just put in this construction one so you can see what it looks like. If I go to preview, it puts in a nice little video here, this little time-lapse of construction site. You can upload your own if you, if you want to as well. This here is a strip, but it has columns, which is slightly different. If you wanted to change the amount of columns, you just go to manage columns here and then add a column and now it splits it into three instead of two. You can add another one to have it four, etc. etc. If you want to get rid of them, you just press delete. Oh, and then I'm gonna go back into manage columns and delete that one. Before I delete it, actually, that you can move it left and right just by using these ones if you want it. Text in the middle with two either side, for example, you could do that. I'm just going to delete it and leave it how it was before. Uh, to change the background, it's the exact same process as a strip, but you just select the column instead and change column background. Now this one has a booking system in. Uh, we're not going to go through booking systems. This is just how to quickly make a simple Wix website. Just trying to talk, talk through what I would do on this website and hopefully that's going to help you. Down here, I would then change all the contact details. This is a form. Most websites are going to want a form on it somewhere, so let's go through the forms. All you do is click on it, form settings, and then once you're in here, you just go to the settings, email notifications here, and you want to make sure your email address is in here, because that means that whenever someone fills out a form, it will be emailed to you. You can also change things like your submit message. Um, if you wanted to accept payments, you could do that through here. Automations is something we're definitely not getting into in this video. But there's loads of different things you can change. And once again, there's that paintbrush. So if you wanted to change the design, there's preset ones here, but or you can just customize it yourself. Um, just have a little play around with all the customization, see what you like, and create your own. 
A few more things that you need to keep in mind, which most templates will probably have, so you need to know about, is this stretch feature here. You can unstretch something, which basically means it will fit to the middle of the page like that, or you can stretch it, which means it will go to the left and right side of the screen. You can add in a margin if you want to. Um, most websites nowadays would use this stretch feature just to make it go right to the left and then all the way to the right. Another button that you might see about the place and want to know what it is, is this animation button. You can click here and then when you select that one, for example, go to preview, that button now floats in. I hope you saw that. I'll do it again just in case. So it floats in. So that's what the animation is. Uh, you don't want to put too, mu too much animation on. You can get a bit carried away with animation, um, but it can be a bit fun and it can be quite impactful for important parts that you want people to look at. A bit of movement is always good, but just don't overdo it because it can A, make the website really slow and B, just make it too confusing for the user. Right, now we've gone through how to edit pretty much everything you will need to edit on a basic website. I'm going to show you how you will now make this website live. So you can just click this publish button up here and what it will do, it gives you a live site. So this is live on the internet now, but you'll see here that this URL is togethernetworking4.wixsite.com slash my site. So it's not very good really. Um, it's not your www.google.com. Uh, nice clean domain that you want. So, but that is a live site and you can now go to view site here and this is my site, for example, which is just about to load. And this is a link that anyone can go to and view your site. But really, when you're completely done and you're happy with everything, you want to click upgrade here. Um, at the moment, there's a 50% offer on. That's not always on, but if it is, use it, I guess. Uh, you, you'll then be asked which package you want to go for. We're going to go for unlimited, for example. And then you just select, go through everything they ask you for, it asks you for payment details, etc, etc. If you're buying a year, it does give you a free domain for a year, which is quite handy. The domain, just in case you don't know, is the end part of a website address, such as togethernetworking.co.uk. That's our domain. And you get that free for a year, and then you have to pay after the first year. But that's pretty nice, uh, so you don't have to pay for that. Once you've gone through that whole process of paying, it will ask you to set up the domain. Um, we're not going to get into that here. If you want to know that, leave a comment below and I'll make a whole video of how to connect a domain to Wix. If you're buying your domain through Wix, it will just work. You don't really have to do much to connect to connect it and then you will have a live site. It's as simple as that. Before you go, there's something that I forgot, which is quite important. You'll see that at the moment I'll have this strip here selected. And there's this little small dot here, and then there's this stretch button here. I'm just going to explain the, the difference between them because people do get confused sometimes. So this here will use this strip and it will make it bigger or smaller. But as you notice, that about me section before isn't changing at all while I'm doing that. Whereas with stretch, it will take the about me section and move it up and down. So it keeps it all together. So if you want to move this and then put in another strip, you would do it with this circle. If you want to move everything on the site, you use the stretch button. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments down below. If you found this helpful, please do give it a like. It does help us out. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, we are going to be posting pretty regularly. We're doing daily webinars that will be going on to this YouTube channel and we will be making more videos like this, which we think will be helpful for you people in the current climate. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I'll be monitoring the comments to see what you're all saying about it. And until next time, I'll see you later.